Hi, this is Rick Patterson. Thanks for coming to my video today. Today we're going to talk about how to repair a leaking bathtub faucet. The first thing you want to do is get to the screw behind the handle to remove it. So what I do is just take a, uh, a, a sharp point of any kind, like a screwdriver, and uh, pull this cap off. Now inside this handle is another uh, is a screw, so I'm going to unscrew this again to unscrew anything. It's usually left, I mean right to left, right to left, counterclockwise, and you pull this screw out. And just a word to the wise, what you want to do with any of the screws that you're working with is uh, put it off to the side, whether it's on the floor or, or just somewhere away from uh, the drain, because if you drop anything down that drain, it's pretty much gone or hard to get to. So let's put that to the side. And now what I have is a challenge to get this um, to get this off. And I'm going to introduce to you a uh, tool called a faucet bathroom faucet extractor. Let's take a look at it. Now what we have is a tool called a bathtub handle extractor and this is used in cases where the uh, handle does not come off correctly or very quickly so what you're going to do is take this part right here and turn this section to where the cone comes down and the tongs open up okay so I'm going to take this put this inside close up the tongs around around this particular handle right here so I've got that in a pretty good grip where it just grabs on the inside and then what I do here is turn this section and put the handle there's a section that goes in and pushes up against the handle itself inside and then what I do is just pull. Now this slides and you want it to be able to slide because you're going to use this like a, as in a hammer so to speak to pull this completely off. So this is how this works. So let's give it a try. And that's how you remove a handle, a bathtub handle, when it's resistant like so. So it came off very very well. What I have here is a special kind of pipe wrench that I use and it opens up with your thumb okay so what I have is a sleeve for a faucet here that I'm, I'm trying to get off because I want to I want to take out the stem so um, it's given me some resistance so what I'm going to do here is put this onto the sleeve and see if I can encourage it a little bit the channel locks did not work, it was too slippery. So this gets me started, and now I can remove the sleeve completely like that. All right, the next thing we're going to do here is uh, remove the stem. So there's a, a couple of ways that we can do this. I'm going to go ahead and take out the whole, uh, remove the whole stem itself, and uh, check to see if I can replace the seats and the rubber gaskets and the ring on uh, this faucet here. Now I've got the fitting on here and found the right size and then again we're going to turn counterclockwise sometimes that happens and got this off. So this is a kind of a really cool tool to use and it's a stem remover. It's a stem valve remover if you will. And that's what that looks like there. I'm going to lay this to the side. And okay, so now we're what going to... looks like when you I'll take the stem about. out. I've got um, a rubber seat on the end of it. I've got a gasket inside here. I'm going to have to get to a ring I'm going to have to get to. And then I've got some packing in here. So what I'm going to do is take my channel locks, hold this, and the other end of my remover... I'm going to take this and put it over here and uh, 
and then take my rod, put that through there, and then just disconnect and unpack the shaft ring there, and then this turns counterclockwise. So you see it going up as I turn it counterclockwise. And then what I'm going to do is reveal not only the threads, but when I take this completely out, again, make sure that the drain line's plugged up. I'm going to take a screwdriver, and I've got some packing inside. And I've got to make sure that I hold on to the packing, and then there is a, another little ring that's inside there as well. So now what we're ready to do is a couple of things. First off, we're going to uh, put a ring right here, right below it, and we're also going to take this rubber gasket, disconnect this, like so, we'll just take a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew it, remember, counterclockwise, take it, put it aside, the screw and the gasket. Now, you've got to take this gasket with you. I'm going to put the screw off to the side here where I don't lose it. Take this gasket with you and replace it, plus take the stem with you as well. So you want to take the whole deal, the whole enchilada, so to speak. And there is a ring right here that you're going to replace. Now, Oftentimes, be real gentle with this, by the way, when you're, when you're taking this off. I just take a screwdriver, kind of work my way around it. Be really, really gentle with it because you can tear it, and you kind of want to get the exact same size. So I've got this ring here I'm going to take with me. I've got this uh, end cap or end gasket, a flat washer that I'm going to take with me as well, and the stem. It's really important when you go to replace these that you take all three of these pieces uh, with you because if you don't, it's only going to be guesswork. So they have ways of measuring. Now, there's not, nothing wrong with this stem whatsoever, so all I'm going to do is just replace the, the flat washer and the ring and uh, put some new, um, what they call, packing. This is graphite rope or graphite string. It's rubberized and I'm going to pack it inside, then put the ring back on, and I'm going to show you how to do all that stuff. So now, we either have this with us, and if we don't, then we got to take all three of these pieces to the hardware store. So, uh, I'm going to go make a trip to the hardware store. This is Rick Patterson. Thanks for coming to my video. See you next time. By the way, before you go, I want to encourage you to check out my other videos, and you'll see a link below Click on it, the 1,000th person that subscribes to thehandymantoolbox.com gets a free tool. Go ahead and register now. See you there.